At the General Motors assembly plant in Warsaw, they're putting together Opel Astra saloons from more than a thousand parts shipped in from Belgium and Germany. By so doing, they're exempted from a 25% import duty. Other Western car makers have similar operations, but they all cried foul when Deyu was allowed the same exemption on the basis of screwing back together cars that had already been built in South Korea, then taken apart into about 10 pieces during the journey, and finally reassembled here to exploit the loophole. There has been a lot of concern raised, uh, particularly within the EU and uh, ACEA, the Association of European Manufacturers, with respect to how things are, are happening here in Poland. Uh, there are a number of manufacturers that are uh, doing what they would call uh, SKD0, other, other times called screwdriver assembly, uh, where they're effectively taking vehicles that are either done completely or almost done and adding just a few components, and as a result, avoiding the duties. To be fair on Deu, they've committed themselves to investing more than a billion dollars in vehicle manufacture in Poland. In any case, the South Korean conglomerate's going to have to modify their screwdriver operation to reassemble from more parts after the European Commission told the Polish government its application to join the EU could be in jeopardy unless it tightened up the rules. In any case, Daewoo don't feel they've been doing anything naughty. They say whatever rules the Polish government sets, they'll obey. Basically, uh, this matter is between the uh, Polish government and the uh, EU uh, Commission rather than our own problem. And I believe uh, this problem was now uh, uh, about, now almost settled. Down in the south, in the polluted and depressing Silesian conurbation around Katowice, Fiat are keen to stress that they've been in Poland longer than anybody else, and not merely putting together bits and pieces brought from abroad, but actually manufacturing cars from scratch, using Polish steel and Polish workers. They've been at it since before the Second World War. Here, they're making the Fiat Cinquecento, and despite the Italian name, if you buy one anywhere in the world, it was made here in Poland. The current boom in new car ownership is largely fueled by the sudden arrival last year of retail credit. It's a real consumer revolution when you remember that under communism people didn't even have checkbooks, never mind bank loans. The volume of traffic on Poland's roads is growing at such a pace that there ought to be plenty of room in the market for all the manufacturers, which makes the established European car makers here angry that an Asian newcomer should be trying to exploit a loophole in the law to gain what they see as an unfair advantage. In the next few years, the Polish government's going to need all the investment it can get in real manufacturing, especially here in Silesia. This is a coal mining and steel making region, industries that are declining fast and there's a serious threat of large-scale unemployment. In an ominous sign of the times, when General Motors recently started building a new plant in nearby Gliwice, they were immediately swamped with thousands of applications for jobs.